Well, in February, the Metroplex suffered its first negative low in 70 years. In this week's Gardening 101, Jeff Frey tells us what to do with plants that didn't survive the cold. Chances are that your yard has some dead or struggling plants this spring. The record cold last February took its toll. The farther away we get from the freeze, we're noticing that some plants are just not going to make it. And those are plants like the Indian hawthorns, the pittosporums, sago palms, or even plants like this rosemary that have died back so much it doesn't seem like they're going to be able to recover. The devastating cold delivered painful lessons on plant selection for North Texas. We try and encourage people to focus on plants that are adapted to our climate. This means buying plants that can handle our summer heat and drought, but also temperatures down to at least 10 degrees. Zero would be better. Native plants have proven the test of time in surviving our weather extremes. Now is one of the best times to start planting those native plants that we saw that did better with the hard freeze. One of those is the autumn sage. This bee attractor blooms across most of the warm season. It gets about three feet high and across and looks great in a hedge line. This is one of our Texas native shrubs. It's called a dwarf yopon holly. It's a great foundation planting. The other good part about this plant is it's evergreen, so it's going to provide year round interest. This three foot shrub is as tough as they get for this area and makes a great replacement for any lost hedgerows. Palm plants took a beating from the deep freeze. This dwarf palmetto did not. This palm is extremely cold hardy. In fact, we haven't seen really much freeze damage at all with these in the Metroplex. These palms get about five feet tall and provide a wonderful contrasting shape to your landscape. Three good options to replace what the winter of 21 took, replacing plants that fail. A gardening 101.